Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. If you guys are checking out my channel for the very first time and you're interested in becoming a model, you definitely want to consider subscribing because I make some of the best content that you ever see about the modeling industry. All right guys, so in this video, what I wanted to talk about is model apartments. I wanna tell you guys what it is, what are some of the pros and cons of staying in a model apartment and why I personally think you should try to avoid them at all costs. Okay, so just a level set, what is a model apartment? A model apartment is basically an apartment that's either owned or rented by a modeling agency. So typically what agencies do is that they find model apartments, um, usually they're one bedrooms or two bedrooms in big cities like New York, Los Angeles, Paris, Milan, etc. right? Um, they find small apartments for rent or even for sale if they own them. And then they've rented out to models. They allow their models that they sign to stay there. Um, they give you the impression that you're staying there for free, but you're actually not staying there for free. You're paying a very um, expensive cost to stay there per day, right? And then a downside about staying in a model apartment is that you're sharing the apartment with other models. Um, sometimes you're even sharing rooms. So typically you could be in a room with two other models or three other models and you have bunk beds and sections of the room and that's not very convenient. But if you're a young person uh, moving to a big city and this is only a temporary solution for you, then sure, then model apartment might be a good idea. But if you have other accommodations in that city, then it might be a good idea to explore your options rather than staying in the model apartment and here's why. So let's take New York for example. Typically an agency would charge their models um, somewhere between $50 to $65 per day to stay in a model apartment. And when you do the math, this is $1,500 to close to $2,000 per month um, just to stay in a model apartment. And again, mind you, you're sharing a room and potentially even sleeping on a bunk bed. So you only have a section of a room um, and typically most of the time a one bedroom apartment, especially in New York, there's only one bathroom, right? So. If you do the math, you can actually get something uh, that's self-contained. You can get a studio space, you can get a one bedroom maybe if you're lucky um, in New York and have your own space. So sometimes it might make more sense to find your own accommodation. However, model apartments does work best for maybe international models who are uh, not yet a resident of the city or they don't have all their papers and um, you know work permits and all that kind of stuff. Uh, so that's where a model apartment will come in handy, where a model can't get their own apartments and sign their own lease. So they will tend to stay at the model apartment. However, if you have all your papers, you're a citizen of the country, you can get your own lease, get your own apartments, I guarantee you it's going to be more cost efficient to maybe get your own apartment or even thinking about renting an Airbnb or getting on a short lease because Again, uh, you know, model apartments are actually very expensive and the agencies kind of, I don't want to say misguide, but they don't give you, they don't give you full disclosure and they don't tell you all the information and how costly it is per se, right? They almost kind of present it to you like you have no choice. One huge pitfall that I've seen a lot of models fall into is that they stay in a model apartment, right? And they're going on castings, they're going on go-sees, and if they're not booking jobs, they're staying in that model apartment and accumulating debt that goes for months and months and all of a sudden they owe about five thousand dollars six thousand dollars to the agency and they're still not getting any jobs right so in that case they're almost kind of pressured to take on jobs that they might not want to take like for example um being an escort um or you know doing like promotional modeling or maybe maybe going out to a club going out with a promoter um things like that and then just to help reduce your debt uh, so models sometimes are in that situation where they owe so much money to their agency and then they have to take um, jobs that they don't really want to do or that doesn't align with their career interests um, just to kind of like help reduce that debt. So um, this is one pitfall I've seen a lot of models fall into. So that's something that you guys should think about if you are thinking about staying in a model apartment. Um, as always, drop a comment. I love to hear from you guys. If you have questions, I um, always appreciate when you guys send me messages and I try to help out as much as I can. So as you guys probably saw, I recently launched my clothing line, Afro Theory. Um, this shirt that I'm actually wearing right now is from Afro Theory. If you're a guy and you appreciate fashion, definitely check out some of the items on the website. 
And if you're interested, follow at Afro Theory on Instagram, send us a DM and I'll give you guys a 35% discount code. Um, again, thank you guys for watching. Always appreciate your support. If you like this video, hit me with a thumbs up. Don't forget to sub. I'll see you guys in my next one.